Good afternoon everyone. In today's video we're going to go over a quick mold tools tutorial. We'll go over draft, draft analysis, scale, parting lines, shutoff surfaces, parting surfaces, tooling splits, and finally creating cores. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future videos. Here we have a simple model of an ABS plastic garbage can that I put together. It has some structural fins and handle holes on the side, as well as a little logo on the bottom. The first thing we want to do is a draft analysis to ensure that our model is properly drafted. Draft is a taper uh, to the part that allows it to be easily removed from the mold. Without it, the part may get stuck in the tooling. We'll use the draft analysis tool to check the draft, selecting the top face uh, for the direction of pull and setting the draft angle to 3 degrees. Green faces indicate a positive draft, while red faces indicate a negative draft. They will form the tooling core and cavity respectively. We are going to set the parting line to be at the top outer edge of the parts. So we want all of the inner faces and the top face to be green, and all of the outer faces to be red. As you see, our fins are yellow, indicating that they require draft. We'll use the draft tool to create a neutral plane draft of 3 degrees on those faces. First, we'll select the top face for our neutral plane, Then we will select the four faces of the fins. The direction of pull is the direction that the feature will taper. We want it to taper downward, so we'll set the direction of pull down and hit the green checkbox. Now we see that the part is properly drafted, we can scale our part. This accounts for any shrinkage that may occur as the part cools after it leaves the mold. We'll scale the part about the centroid and set the scaling to be 1.03. And we'll select Uniform Scaling. Our next step is to create the parting line which is the edge of the part where the mold separates. I'm going to select the top face of the part for the direction of pull and set the angle for the draft to be 3 degrees and hit draft analysis. To create the parting line I'm going to run my cursor over the outer edge right click and hit select tangency to select the outer edge our parting edge is complete, but we need to create shutoff surfaces between the handles before we can create our core and cavity. Shutoff surfaces are used to divide through holes between the core and the cavity. We want to create shutoff surfaces on the inner edges of the two handles. As we see here, SolidWorks attempted to find all these shutoff surfaces, but we're going to clear these out because we only want the two. So we'll hit clear selections and select our two inner edges. And now our mold can be separated into our core and our cavity. So we'll hit the green checkbox. And we see here that two surfaces have been created the shutoff surface 1 and shutoff surface 2 for the respective core and cavity. And we see they're overlapping at the shutoff surface. 
because this is where the core and the cavity would meet. For clarity, we will hide our two shutoff surfaces. Now we just have to create our parting surface. This is the surface that extends out from the parting line and create the sketch for our mold. We'll create a new sketch on the top face of the part and make a simple rectangle. And now we have our tooling bodies. We'll hide our parting surface and parting line. Our last step is to create a simple core for our two side handles. Since the lower cavity section of the mold is protruding inward to the handle shutoff surfaces, we need to split the cavity up so that the trash bin can be properly ejected. You could also use cores to simulate other mold features such as ejector pins. We'll make a simple rectangular sketch on the side face of the cavity, setting the depth to go all the way to the shutoff surface. For those of you wondering, Service Pack uh, 4 is out for SolidWorks 2020. Still have to download it. And we'll just fully define the sketch. And we want to set the depth to go all the way down to the shutoff surface. And hit the green checkbox. And we will repeat this on the other side for the opposite handle. And we have to reverse the direction here. And hit the green checkbox. Now that our mold is complete, we'll use the move copy bodies command to break it apart so we can see the different individual components. So that is the core. And we'll now move the three components of the cavity down, leaving the base part in the middle. Now as we move the cavity down, you see that our two little sections that we made with the core tool have the indentation for the handles. In a real world application, the tooling would have to split here before the part could be ejected from the mold. This has been a quick tutorial of the basic SOLIDWORKS mold tools. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future videos. If you have a SOLIDWORKS topic that you want me to cover in a tutorial, be sure to let me know in the comments section below.